Trump was indicted yet again. <sighs> I swear. Man, stop. Over and over and over. Already it was up to 78 charges. And so now they've got these uh, this new indictment in Georgia. <sighs> so they're doing federal and state. It's going to be really tough um, to get him... I think to spring him out of all of this, uh, the presidential pardon, I think, can only happen if with the federal charges, right? I don't think yeah. he has any power to release somebody from a state Correct. if they're if they're convicted on state charges. I mean, come on, Fulton County is the most corrupt, gross, yeah, ca- you yeah. know, where the pipes burst on election night in the middle of counting votes. Well, their district attorney, Fannie Willis. Oh. said uh, that Donald Trump and his alleged co-conspirators attempted to seize a presidential term when she outlined the indictment. Okay. Uh, there's 19 individuals indicted here, including Donald Trump. He was indicted on 13 more charges. That brings it, I think that brings a total to 91 altogether. Uh, and they include racketeering charges related mm. to the election. Wow. It's a mess. Every individual charged in the indictment is charged with one count of violating Georgia's racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations, the RICO Act, uh, through participation in a criminal enterprise in Fulton County, Georgia, and elsewhere to accomplish the illegal goal of allowing Donald J. Trump to seize the presidential term of office beginning January 20th, 2021. So so they posted the charges last night while they Uh were still interviewing jurors. Yeah, Yeah, isn't that interesting? Before, <laughs> before they'd reached a decision to indict him, bro. Wait, how'd that happen? <sighs> because I mean, I don't know. It almost, oh, it almost like okay. If I were a cynic, which I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm a positive person. But oh yeah, I think we all know. Uh, that. I mean, you, that's look, clear. That's it, clear, Keith. Must I show you the uh, no? Look visual at that. Aid. There's money, and it's on the. It's a Bidenomics on the horizon, riding to the rescue. You just got to be patient, right? I'm positive. Okay. So, so they both. They, they, if 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 I were uh-huh. a cynic, I would say that they had already if drawn I were a conclusion. A cynic, yeah, be, de, 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 be, All right. Yes. So, if you were a cynic, I just pulled the the string there. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> uh, I would say that they had drawn a conclusion before they even uh, went through the process oh, of finding wow. out if the jurors were gonna. Oh wow! I said if. I said if. I said, if I were a... Jeez, I didn't see that coming, though. It still took me by surprise. They are so (laughs) evil and incompetent in that damn Fulton County. They posted the names of the jurors online. They were like, oh, crap, Riddendack knows. What a farce. Really bad. Really, really bad. What a farce. And and this is just another line of... We've got to throw as much as we can at this guy, Donald Trump, because mm-hmm. we're so afraid of him. and We cannot let that guy anywhere near office. Have you guys called Georgia yet? We've got operatives there. Have you called uh, Miami or wherever the hell all these charges? Where were the other charges at? I don't even know anymore. I don't care. I mean, mm. whatever. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Stop. So this Fanny Willis. Uh, Fanny, have you ever heard of Stacey Abrams? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. That... She still claims she's the rightful governor of the state of Georgia. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I don't know. How do you how do you ignore all of that and yeah. then you you specifically indict Donald Trump for the self same thing? Uh-huh. Plus, is it not free speech? What exactly how do you get racketeering out of what he did? <laughs> I don't even know, man. Ah, oh, it's just agonizing. <sighs> yeah, this is uh, an embarrassment for Georgia, and it makes me not even want to. It really is. Listen or trust anybody from that crazy state. <clears throat> Georgia. Mm hmm. You know anybody from Georgia? Mm. <clears throat> anybody come to mind? Uh, uh. Anybody come to mind? Hmm. Any specific, like, anybody? are you looking for an individual? or Yeah, like, like I'm just wondering, is there anybody team? in your world, anybody in your life that you know from the state of Georgia that you could go to today and go, man, your state sucks, your home state? I for some reason, I don't even trust you now. For some reason, a, a number comes to mind, and it, it's uh, 
like 28 oh, to we. 3 oh, that's that right. comes to mind okay that you that, know that's not nice but uh I don't, I don't know if that has anything to do with what we're talking yeah, about in georgia going, here where are you going with that one <laughs> that was weird the, i mean oh oh i was gonna say they're obviously throwing everything yeah to stop him yeah. to try to stop donald trump they're from figuring, the nomination of the president and they might be right with 91 charges something is gonna stick right yeah but i I don't know if I wrote this down. Did I email it to myself? Fun fact. Okay. Um, but the negative campaigning against Trump, uh, there's been, I think, $9 million in ads against Donald Trump so far. Mm. So okay. negative tr- ads against mm-hmm. Trump. $8 million against uh, DeSantis so far. All by Trump? or No. Uh, no? That's a good question. Yeah. $20 million against Ron DeSantis. Okay. Oh. So who's huh. afraid of who? Huh. Uh, yeah. So wow. So there's been more negative ads against DeSantis than, than even Donald Trump, Trump and Biden combined. Oh my gosh. Who's the target in 2024? That's interesting.